Hello and welcome to Zero Zeo Drifter, the game, the movie, the musical. Hello, Royal Bob. Hope you're having a nice Labor Day. Holy shit. This is just... I haven't completely beat the game yet, but I'm getting closer to it. I want to get all the collectibles and stuff first for the trophies. So, I'm doing a bit of like map navigating and crap like that. I want to see if I can find them all myself. I'm sure I can't because there's like these hidden rooms that the maps don't even show. So I'm sure I'll miss a few of those. But we'll see. I'll probably have to resort to a guide at some point. It'd be nice if the game would tell me which levels I have 100% of the collectibles in. But as far as I know, it doesn't. Or, I, or it's possible I don't have 100% in any of the levels yet. George's favorite type of game. Let me exit out to the main menu real quick and see where I am on collectibles. Mega Man-esque start screen. Mega Man 2, I should say. So I need three more gun upgrades and five more health upgrades. I'm definitely not really on pace to get them all. Which is the one I haven't checked. I was going to go do the orange level. Oops. I'm guessing the final boss area is down below there. I'll show you in one second. Nice skater. Yeah, I like this game, Plat King. Um, I'm trying to do all the collectibles by myself, but we'll see how it goes. Is there a good guide for them? I don't know how people can not like indie games when you get awesome pixel enemies like that eye square looking eyeball that shoots lasers at you. And going back into the screen I think is really cool too.
Need four more gun upgrades. Upgrade. Getting closer at least. There's a map on Trophy Guide. Cool. Because I'm going to need a map because the ones I'm going to be missing are the, are going to be like the hidden wall ones because I know I'm not going to get enough of them. And then, is the final boss missable RPG, or can you replay him? I think Gator was saying you just replay him. But I know you have to beat him without getting hit, so I didn't want to, like, accidentally miss that. Zero. Brothers is definitely not an amazing game. It's alright. I didn't find it to be amazing, but I don't go for like those story type video games. Give me some indie shooting nonsense. I'll be happy. You saved it online. I had to use a guide for the trophies the first time I played it. But I played it for real too, I mean... I just made sure not to skip any of the missable trophies, but besides that... It wasn't too bad. Shit. I just didn't like the game that much. See, it's that sort of stuff. Oh, there's the little thing. Huh, no upgrade in here? Ah. Uh, shit for me. When I fight the boss, have one heart. Why? Yeah, I'm sure the first time I played it, it took me about four to five hours. there if I hadn't already killed him. I wish there was a button. I don't get why they couldn't have mapped that to a button. Ok, 
Okay, well that's pretty much all the exploring I can do. I also wish there was a way to warp back to the beginning of the levels. Instead of having to find your way all the way back, it's a lot of backtracking. 